Welcome back, this is Yamachek. Today we have Graveyard Keeper. It is available for $22.79 Canadian on Steam. By $19.99 American. And uh, it is a cemetery sim. You build a cemetery and grow your cemetery and do all kinds of crazy stuff like that. I got it on the Humble Bundle back in January. I've got, I haven't claimed any of my games from January till now. Um, so I just go through and pick one out whenever I know that I want to do a good game. <laughs> anyway, even in everyday routine, there is a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. <gasps> what happened? Where is everything? Click? Yeah. Calm down, you've merely turned the page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything. We have to dig him up. Who? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. Uh, e open. We have nothing in there. That's okay. You know what? This feels like... A, uh, a controller game to me and I just I have my controller just kind of sitting right here ready to go so uh, let's go ahead and check this out yeah lots of things lots of things why why okay hold down why holy sard I'm a skull are you Jerry mmm how would you think I'm Jerry a man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye, I remember. Oh, Sart, that's right. I'm Jerry. How'd you find me? The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good. But first, let me ask you. Who are you and where the Sart are we? I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard creeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell. And, and a donkey. Something's very wrong with that animal. Hmm, he could be dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. You you can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. I only earn five cents a day. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The bastard pretends he doesn't understand what I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Hey, Jerry. Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. It might be profitable. Oh, I'm going to puke. Let's do it. It's decaying, dude. Sorry, I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table, then, hmm, what's next? Oh yeah, slice some flesh off the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way, this isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here, so shut the sard up and do what I tell you. You promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie, and then bring the beer to me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dissect the... Extract the flesh. Okay, work on it. Work on it. You telling me we make burgers out of this? So what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Take the body. Back up to the graveyard. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me in. Maybe, maybe down here? There's gotta be an entrance somewhere, right? No, come back. Here's the entrance. Hey, there, buddy-o. Let's bury it. I would like to bury it, yes. Okay, so you put the thing in the grave. Um... Huh? It's a blueprint desk at the mark graveyard. Make a site for the graveyard. Then dig it with your shovel. 
Blueprint site. Grave site. Right there. Wait, no, we have to we have to dig it with the shovel first. Okay, then we put that in there and then we bury it. No coffin or anything like that. Nicely done. Hmm, this burial certificate. I remember. Money. Alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm, I sure used to like it. A lot. Oh, sorry. Here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Run away. Oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be waiting in the morgue, waiting for my beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? Hey, buddy. Oh dear, the new keeper. We've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. Sounds good. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five green coating skulls, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. <laughs> That's good. I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen to represent his will. <laughs> Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, they come here every purple circle medallion thing. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty. The unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. <laughs> I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as the body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. See ya, dude. If you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. Wow, that's so much stuff, dude. There's a lot of things. Uh, I want, like, all of this, please. We have, uh, we have a quality of minus 29. Okay. The graves themselves are, are <laughs> like, bringing the quality down. We have to get it up to plus 5. How the heck do you do that? Fix the grave fence. Sure. Look at that. It's only it's only minus one now. Wooden grave fence. Fix it, dude. Look at look at me. Look at me go. Look at me go. No grave fence. How about we add one? Fix the gravestone instead. Look at that, look at that beautiful. No gravestone. We could add a gravestone, but I don't think it would really do anything for us, so whatever, dude. And fix the gravestone as well. I don't have any more of those thingies. How do I make more of those thingies? I know that it's said. But I don't know where. Leaf. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, let's go do this quest, get Jerry some beer. Can I run somehow? Does not appear to be a, any possible way for me to run. I can't I can't seem to speed it up. So far I'm kinda liking this game though. It's pretty fun. I mean it, it's I, we haven't played it much, so I can't really say for sure, but like I'm uh, I'm pleased. Presently, I mean, it looks pretty good. I like the uh, the art style. I love this kind of art style personally. And then um, the sound is nice in the background there. I don't know if you guys can hear it so well. I do try to keep that down so that my voice is overpowering it. Um, you don't mind me just walking here from the dang cemetery. Dead horse. Hi there. Can I have a beer, please? Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I am Horadric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How can I not recognize you? Good. This is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning to opening the church? 
I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anybody took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? How about this burial certificate? Uh, yes, he's right. He's the head of the village according to the ancient contract. I had to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Uh, I'd like to trade you some fresh meats. It's not so much... Ever since all meat must be approved with oil, before you don't need any trouble with the town, does your meat have a stamp? Actually, no. I don't even want to know where you can get unauthorized meat, but wow, it looks really good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get the stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. But there's another way. I'll tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. There's a guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every red gender marker. I bet she can help you to find Snake. Leave. Actually, you know what? Maybe there's like a fast travel to get back home. The southeastern corner of the village is a blacksmith or something like that. Take a letter to a blacksmith, Kresvold, who lives at the southeastern corner of the village. Do you know how to get back home? I'm telling us so worried. You got the dead horse. Okay, it looks medieval. Maybe I travel through time. And what year is it now? Year? What do you mean? The time it takes for the Earth to make one revolution around the sun? Oh, you've been listening to the astrologer's nonsense. Everybody knows that the Earth is flat. But I get you. It's 200 after the ancient contract and 210 after... Never mind. And what is the name of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom. And it is definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? No, sir. I wanted to know if I could get a quick way to get back to the graveyard, but uh, we'll just have to walk. As it turns out. That's okay. So, the, the thing is, we gotta go get, we gotta get, can I enter? Close from the other side. Sounds good. Let's head back to, uh, can I, like, chop down a tree or something like that? Heck yeah, I can, man. Don't think I can't, because I can. See ya! Can I, can I pick you up? I was hitting the wrong button. Just hold the uh, the left thing here. Straight left. And you just put it right in front of you and you just push it along. And when, when it gets a little bit unruly, you just kind of pick it back up and... I don't know how to get stones and stuff, but... Psst, come here. Where you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody's okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sarge, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing. I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. Wheat. Exactly. I remember baking bread from it and pies. Mmm. Sweet berry pies. Toast. Onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. Sorry. Do you know what I need? I need a beer. It's beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me a beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff like how you can get home. Questions? How can I get home? Can you tell? It was rhetorical. Do I look like a magic head with answers? Well, technically, yes. Sorry, you smartass. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. Alright, how do I process this log into wood? How do I go from log to, like, workable wood? Because I can store it here, right? Yeah, it's, it's getting late. It's, uh, it's time to sleep. Get nice and rested up here. And we are awake. I'm so refreshed. This is not good. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray, a kipper. Wow, I've been here for hmm, how long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. I can't do a ghost voice. Wait. No, on the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sounds like something you can help us with. I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he's Jerry. Funny. Ah, the half-dead skull, that jealous bastard. <laughs> you can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here, especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Could you just get rid of him, dig him up, and throw him in the river? I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? Such so a time you think of, of course, you need an old, you need a license. The old keeper told me to buy them through the mailbox near the church. Sounds good to me, dude. Look at all these supplies. What's that sound? 
death. Darn gate. I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. So I can remove this blockage and fortify the arch. Do it, dude. I don't have the wood and the other things. This might give me wood. Possibly. I mean, I don't know. Flour. Make some bread and stuff. I mean, that's kind of what they said we'd get, but... We'll destroy all this stuff, clean it up a little bit. So if I just hold down Y, am I going to, like, run around to the nearest thing and process it? Yes, it seems like I do. As long as it's close, then uh, I will just run around and, and process it. Um, concept of wood. Sawmill stuff and stuffs? I don't know, man. Where do you think the sawmill is? Place for stones, okay. So we have a place for stones and a place for wood. But we don't really have necessarily a... The garden. I'll, I'll claim that later. Build. Garden. Nah, we can keep that. I don't know how to... Chuck him in the river, is what he said, right? Is this guy right here? Body, exhume him. Yeah. Let's exhume him. Yoink. There's a river down here or something like that. And we just go uh, a little bit of yeeting. Once I can find my way to the river. Aha! Here's the river. Yeet! Yeet! See you, dude. What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what? Now you're just going to do everything he asks? I mean, yes. It's not like he can do anything to you. Huh? He's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I'd never do anything like that because we're friends. But you get my point, right? And if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. The river is somewhere down to the uh, Oh my god. You know, you're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. You need fire and some wood. It's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? I mean, you need a nice quiet place. Like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the mortuary entrance near the cliff. Okay, dude. Piece of stone. Maybe chop down smaller trees and get smaller pieces of wood. Seems to be the case. Take some berries. Need a technology. Need a technology. Sounds good to me, man. Give me some stones. Thank you. Need a technology. Everything always needs technology, man. Okay, now where do I make stuff? Because I've, I've got the... Um... You know, I've, I've got... Here, let's, can I research this? Yeah, sweet, dude. That's awesome, man. Um... Sawing. Blueprint sawhorse. Create flitch crafted at sawhorse. We need to blueprint in a sawhorse, which is probably not going to be here, but rather up by our house, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows, man. Take this. The church is not open. Alright, let's find another blueprint that we can use. 
the blueprinting thingy. Uh, that one's just like a thing. I don't really care about that. Here's a here's a good blueprint. Yeah, build a. Nope. Cool, cool, cool. Where do I build the saw flitch thingy? I don't know. I do not know. It's on this one. Remove. No. Need a technology. Can't handle that. It's too much. It's too much. I don't know in here. Autopsy. Hmm, I don't know where to go to make this stupid blooper. I know that I skipped through some stuff, like I was not mashing the A button. Um, I wasn't. Um, it's just that sometimes it just seems to kind of be the way that it does it, you know? Go ahead and remove this. Don't really need it. Fill it back in. Don't go to sleep. We're up to negative twelve. It's coming along, right? We just we got to get the the gosh darned uh, things before we can uh, really fully commit to uh, get me through here, please. I want to go to sleep. I want to go to sleep. We have a cooking thing, we have a thingy here. I don't know, I, I feel like uh, missing something. Good, it's much nicer that I'm at the graveyard. I'm still so sad though. I'm so lonely, I was bad when I was alive, I should've been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh fine, I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are red skulls and good deeds are white skulls. Even the best decorations can't make a graveyard a peaceful place when it is full of red skulls. I'm not sure that I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. You better take good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. Boo. Like, they keep popping up and then I just yeet right past them. Okay, why am I hitting A on this? I shouldn't be hitting A yet. Up we get. It has been 22 minutes already. This has gone by fast. All right, where do I? Where do we? Where do you think we make the the sawmill thing? Where do you think the sawmill gets made? I see this. Don't think I don't. Ouch. We got some honey. Honey, baby. Yeah, I'm having some issues finding out where to go. I like I like this game. I think it is genuinely a fun game. If I could just figure out where the heck I put the sawmill thing to turn my wood into stuff, uh, that would be fantastic. Um, yeah. So it's not here. And I can't like. Yeah, you know, we need to we need to make some uh, some like things, right? Like we have to make these. The repair kits, right? Go ahead and. Oh! Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 okay. This, 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 this makes a big difference. So you spend those little points that we get on research. Okay. I'm sure it said that in one of the things that I skipped past. It's just, uh, again, I wasn't mashing the A button. It just kind of mashed it for me anyway there we can make we can make the sawhorse here now i guess 
probably would rather have it closer so that we can not have like a terrible walk. Kind of like put put this down here. How do I? I guess it has to stay in this, and then you get to craft from that. Yeah, it just kind of like teleports over. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And we have a uh, grindstone to uh, to repair some stuff as well. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. We have a chopping stop spot, and uh, yeah, okay, cool, cool. Okay, I understand this game now. So you got these uh, these things. And, uh, like, I've got those those points at the top right of the screen there. And I can use them after I've learned how to do, like, one of these things. Or I guess not really learned, but just once you have the resources to make it, then you can just make it. Carpenter's workbench. I don't know where I can make a carpenter's workbench, but... Or a sawhorse. Okay, so we can make it a sawhorse, too. Yeah, so we we can craft some 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 of these things now. Because we don't have the nails, so we'd have to get some more stuff there. But uh, and there there's there's going to be like the repair kits somewhere or other as well, which are really what I want more than anything right now. I don't know where to make them though. I do not know where to make them, but. Uh, that's okay. Anyway, um, this game is genuinely pretty good. I think I will I will give this game a thumbs up in my opinion. This Yamcha tries went by really quickly. I didn't even realize that it was like done already. Um, it's solid. <laughs> it's it's fun. I'm having I'm having a good time. You know, it's uh, yeah. I, I got nothing to complain about here. It's it's just it's a good time. Uh, anyway. Can I pick up two? No, I can only pick up one. You know what I can do? I can, I can take this and then kind of push you as well. Get into position here. And kind of go straight on up here. Beautiful performance. Put it. Put it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway. This has been Graveyard Keeper. It's available for $22.79 uh, Canadian on Steam. I had a good time today. I had a really good time. This was fun. Um, yeah, if you like uh, if you like these kinds of like town building, but in this case it's a, it's a cemetery that you're building. Um, it's like uh, those kind of like um, what was that one game? that was like all over the place. It was kind of like Harvest Moon. Anyway, this one's kind of like the game that's kind of like Harvest Moon, but I wouldn't say that it's kind of like Harvest Moon, if that makes sense. This one is uh, it's a graveyard. And it's fun, it's good. 2279 Canadian on Steam, 1999 American probably. Um, I had a good time. Anyway, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, well, why are you watching? Uh, if, uh, subscribe to see more in the future, comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.